Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my series of tips for writing using ChatGPT. I'll just recap on what we did in the previous one. If you haven't seen that one, go back and have a look. We actually started writing out or helping, getting ChatGPT to help us write out some suitable titles for the story that we're building. I've come back to this page to remind you that I've chosen these titles and subtitles, changed them a little bit since then. And then the next thing that we asked ChatGPT to do was provide a set of characters who appear in the book. And I wanted myself to be involved there. But I'm, I'm now going to change my own name and ask ChatGPT to revise this list and add some more characters. So what we will do here in this same conversation with ChatGPT is ask it to rewrite the character list, make my name May McCulloch, add in three more characters from present day names of Luca and add in one more character from 1845 who will be the main antagonist. So it knows what it had above and it should reproduce that table, but we'll just make sure that it does it in tabular form. So that is my prompt to rewrite the character list. So this whole presentation today is about using ChatGPT to do some rewriting. This is just the first part. Let's see what it does with that. And we'll skim to the bottom. All right, the two that we already know. Okay, it's understood what I meant about my name. Captain Tobias, we already know. Amelia was there. Benjamin was there. Now, all right, we have Oscar Bartholomew, who is the main antagonist. And we have three of Luca's friends, two girls and a boy. All right, I'm happy with that. Jenny is one of Luca's closest friends. She's an avid reader with an imaginative mind. And Jenny often joins Luca on his adventures. And Ethan, another best friend, a practical and rational thinker, provides a balance to Luca's impulsiveness and curiosity. And Sophia is a friend who is deeply interested in history and folklore, and her knowledge becomes indispensable during Luca's journey. All right, this is building into more of a story than we had before, just from a simple rewrite of the characters themselves. I'll just scroll back a little bit. What I had it do after my first iteration about the scenes for Luca's birthday, I asked it to write an outline for that introduction to the first chapter and it gave it to me here. And I've rewritten that. I'll just jump over here to my double writer where you can see it. This is to be now the beginning of that chapter, starting with my name. But I want ChatGPT now to rewrite that with a little more flair. So I copy all of that to the clipboard and come back to ChatGPT and ask it to do another rewrite. And this time, give it some parameters. Here's a rewrite of my prompt, a little simpler this time. And I've also changed the title of the book slightly to Echoes of Time and asked it for a rewrite of this introduction, creative introduction, for my audience, and then pasted in the copy of that introduction. And here is the final result. So using much more colourful language and more engaging with its use of the senses, and we can actually imagine Luca now, and certainly the house, the cosy house, alive with echoes of laughter. His little abode, though not spacious, was a sunbeam in the town. Not sure about the word sunbeam. And a description of its decor. The warmth was infectious, touching every friend from school and neighbour from the lane who had gathered to honour Luca's transition into his teenage years. A little bit about the town and the location of Fish Market Lane. That might change also as I rewrite this, of course. 
And then we find Luca standing with anticipation humming in his veins in a sea of colourful, gift-swathed boxes. His eyes dance with excitement as each present revealed its secret. A fresh wave of joyous laughter erupted from his friends. I like that paragraph. And then the last one, a hush fell over the room as Grana May, with a knowing smile, presented the final gift. And this was the ancient chest that we learned about from the outline. It's every nick and scratch, a testament to its passage through family hands over countless years. As Luca navigated the rusty lock and the creaking lid began to rise, anticipation swirled in the air, blending with the comforting aroma of party snacks and the familiar hum of his friend's chatter. Little did Luca know he was on the precipice of an unimaginable adventure, one that was about to ripple through the fabric of his existence. I really like that paragraph as well. So rewriting using the skills of ChatGPT is an interesting exercise. Why don't you try that? You might have asked ChatGPT to write something for you and you want it to be rewritten. Try that. Or if you've got some of your own writing and you haven't been happy with it, put it into ChatGPT and ask for a rewrite and see what it can come up with. I'm sure you'll be amazed. I love the rewriting feature of ChatGPT and how it understands and follows my instructions to the letter. This has been another ChatGPT adventure. And this time we were looking at how to use it to rewrite our narratives. I'll be back with more. Cheers for now.